Hey, welcome to the video. It's Ted. We're going to do a full day of eating 1,200 calories and 162 grams of protein. So one of your questions right now is probably, Ted, why the fuck are you eating 1,200 calories? We'll get to that in a minute, but we're going to go over three meals, sorry, three high protein, low calorie meals. So whether or not you eat 1,200 calories, this will help you. The majority of the day is going to be whole, minimally processed foods, tons of fruits and vegetables, super healthy. And then after we'll go over two tips to help you stay on track and stay consistent. All right, now let's go over why I'm eating 1200 calories. So for some women, some of my previous and current clients are currently eating 1200 calories. And not only do they have to do that, but it's a realistic calorie deficit for you to be losing fat at a fair rate, like a half a pound on average per week, you're going to be needing to eat 1200 calories. And that's not even aggressive. Obviously we can go over reverse dieting, going through gaining phases to build their metabolism up. But right now, if your main goal is fat loss and you're a petite woman or man, and you need to be losing fat, you're gonna have to enter a calorie deficit. And if you have to get as low as 1200, that's just something you're gonna have to do and a sacrifice you're gonna have to make. So I wanted to help them out, help you out or anyone else that you know that may be in the same boat. Or if you're just looking for high protein, low calorie, satisfying, healthy, whole food meals, this video is gonna help you a ton. Okay, so I sh probably shouldn't have to say this, but just in case, this is not a video where you should just follow it no matter what you look like, how much you weigh, your age, your activity level, etc. Do not just follow this blindly. Use a calculator first and then go find it through trial and error in the real world with a scale and my fitness pal before you just pick 1200 and go with that. I promise if you start at 1200, that's a terrible way to start and your dieting is not gonna be fun for you. And if you're someone who's just here for the recipes, then you could either increase the portion sizes or just add other snacks and meals in there throughout the day. Just how I'm eating 1200 today, right? I'm gonna do a whole series where every week I'm eating a different calorie amount and videotaping it, right? So this week I'm doing 1200. Next week, I don't know, comment something down below, comment a calorie range down below, and I'll do the one with the most likes. And all the ones under the top liked one, I'll just add to the list. All right, I just got back from the gym, so it's time to have my first meal of the day. I'm gonna be making a smoothie because it's fast, effective, and super healthy. A lot of my meals or snacks are based on how fast it takes to make or how easy it is to make every single week because I like convenience. I hate having to take like 30 minutes to an hour to make one meal that I'm gonna eat in five minutes. I hate that. I'm not so extreme where all my meals are heated up in the microwave and they're ready to go but maybe one day I will be. So the smoothie I'm about to make has ton of vitamins and minerals, tons of fiber, high protein, and it's super fast and easy to just slurp down and get into the shower and get ready for if it. If you like a, a more type meal for breakfast, I'll share something else at lunch that I'm gonna be making that's sort of also kind of a breakfasty meal that you might like for that. Another reason that I'm making this smoothie is because I'm one of those people that needs to force themselves to eat fruits and vegetables every day. I'm not a crazy health nut that just easily eats fruits and vegetables every single day without thinking about it. I need to force myself to do it. And there's days where I do mess up and don't eat any fruits and vegetables, but this is a simple way to get a serving of each or a little bit more than a serving of each in a smoothie and just chug it down and it's as simple as that. That's one of the main reasons I do this. So if you're also someone who struggles to eat their fruits and vegetables every day, or maybe you're trying just to get another serving in, try this out. I promise it will be super easy. It's not that high calorie and it's super high protein. And I'm, as you're about to see, I'm about to use like two or three scoops of protein. You could just use one or two if you want. All you need is a vegetable that blends easy and doesn't add any taste to the smoothie. So I recommend spinach. You could also maybe use kale, but I fucking hate kale. so. I'm not gonna recommend that. And then I'd recommend frozen berries. Just buy a packet, a pack of frozen berries from the supermarket. Berries are gonna be the lowest calorie for the amount of volume, so it makes it worth it and you get vitamins and minerals and fiber. And then some type of protein powder. Here I have Dimatize um, chocolate peanut butter, ISO 100. I love this flavor. And then I have Legion chocolate peanut butter. I don't like Legion's chocolate peanut butter as much as I uh, like their cinnamon cereal. So after I finish this, I'm gonna go back to their cinnamon cereal and just switch between chocolate peanut butter Dimatize and cinnamon cereal from Legion. And then of course, liquid of choice. I'm just gonna be using water, but you could use cashew milk, almond milk, whatever you want.
All right, I got most of it off my face. Again, the main reason I do this smoothie is to get another serving of fruit and vegetables in every day. If you struggle with this as well, I suggest you try something similar, maybe in a smaller blender with less ingredients so it's less calories if you're a smaller person, or you can just copy the smoothie I made. I'm gonna go hop in the shower, brush my teeth, and start work. I'll see you at lunch. All right, time for meal number two, lunch. I'm gonna have ground beef with taco seasoning in it and carrots. I was considering making a salad, but I really just don't want a salad right now. This meal is gonna be 365 calories and 42 grams of protein. Whenever you're buying ground beef on a calorie deficit and you're trying to eat in a calorie deficit, make sure to get the 93% lean ground beef or higher. You can get leaner if you want, but make sure not to buy like the 90% lean, 87, 85% lean, because that means it's gonna have more fat in it. And fat is the most calorie dense macronutrient. So that means you're gonna have less food for more calories. When you opt for a leaner ground beef, like 93% lean, 7% fat, you get more food volume, you get more protein for the amount of calories, and it's just better for being in a deficit. I bought three of these. I cooked it. I cooked uh, two packets of this up on Sunday, and I put it in here, and then put it in the fridge, and then it's good to go in the microwave after like 30 to 90 seconds, depending on how much I eat of it. So highly suggest meal prepping your protein or just cooking it in advance on Saturday or Sunday or whenever you want to for an entire week or at least three or five, three to five days in advance. It's gonna save you tons of time, but also making sure that you have protein ready to go. I think I usually use McCormick taco seasoning, but right now I have this random one from the grocery store. I don't count how much I put this on the meat while I'm cooking it, but I just track it random, like 10 to 40 calories. I think, I, yeah, right here I did 30 calories. There's no way we're gonna get fat off taco season. Since my ground beef's already made, I'm not gonna show you how to make it in this video, but in my nine high protein, low calorie meals video that I made earlier this year, I did show you how to make it. So I'll link that in the description. You can click that and watch that part if you want. If you need help figuring out how to cook. So I'm gonna have 200 grams of this for 40 grams of protein and 100 grams of baby carrots, which is about 35 calories and then 30 calories of this. All right, so why baby carrots? So obviously another serving of vegetables, more right? More vitamins, more minerals, but also it's just something easy that I can force myself to eat while I work. I'm not gonna eat it while I sit here and eat the ground beef, but I like to snack on it while I work because I can kind of mindlessly get it in um, and force myself to do it. Otherwise, I fucking hate vegetables and fruit like I said it at breakfast, and this is just another way that I can force myself to do it. All right, time for meal number three, dinner. You might think this is heaps boring, but I'm about to make ground beef again. It's super delicious. On days that I'm not eating 1,200 calories for this video, I'll put cheese in it, put uh, tortillas in it, and make tacos out of this it. This time, instead of carrots, I'm gonna steam asparagus and put salt on it. So also on days that I'm not having 1,200 calories, I love rice, especially with mixed frozen vegetables, soy sauce, and like chicken, steak, or any lean protein source. But I bought this rice cooker from Target for like 20 or $30. It's, the brand name is Aroma. I'll show you here in a second. But you just put water in the bottom, and then you put a tray full of asparagus right on top, and it takes like 10 to 20 minutes, somewhere in there, to steam if them. If you forget to check on it, it just goes on warm. It keeps them warm while you're knitting a sweater or whatever you're doing. So again, another vegetable that I have to force myself to eat, right? I don't crave this. I'm just forcing myself to eat like the responsible adult I am. But honestly, when you steam these and put some salt on top, sprinkle some salt on top, it actually tastes really this good. This meal is gonna be 362 calories and 44 grams of protein. In total today, we had just over 1200 calories, 1215 I think, and 162 grams of protein. Anyway, here's two tips you can use to maybe make this easier or help you stay more consistent. Number one, drink seltzer water, flavored water, or diet soda. This is just gonna help you change things up or maybe keep you fuller if you don't really drink much liquids throughout the day. Or maybe if you drink full calorie soda, switching to diet is gonna save you so many calories. Tip number two is to brush your teeth or just do your nighttime mouth care routine, right? Floss mouthwash after your last meal or snack or dessert. This is good for a couple different reasons. If you're like me and you sometimes forget to brush your teeth at night and you only do it in the morning, this will keep a healthy habit going on. But if you just want to do this for weight loss, it's going to be helpful because it's like a seal at the end of the day. Unless you're a psychopath, you're not going to be eating a meal 30 to 60 minutes after you brush your teeth, do mouthwash, floss, etc. So do that at the end of the day after the last time you plan on eating and this is going to help you a ton. Maybe not a ton, but it's going to help create a mental cue like, okay, 
you're done with eating for the and day. And then you'll know if you go eat something, it's going to taste like shit because you just brushed your teeth. All right, I'm about to sit down and eat this asparagus and beef. If this video helped you, please hit the like button and comment below what calorie amount you would like to see next. And subscribe if this video helped you and you're not subscribed already.